What's up, everybody? Okay, I'm so excited because I'm about to show you one of my favorite makeup looks. It's something I do all the time. You are going to love, love, love it. Okay, so in case you're wondering what's going on here, I'm about to do an everyday makeup look, just a random look that I might do. And Israel, my husband right here, is going to do my voiceovers, which means I am suddenly going to be Silent Sam, and he is going to tell you everything that I am doing. He's watched me do my makeup a million times. The question is, one, does he actually even pay attention? And two, this is just going to be hilarious. So prepare to laugh. This is going to be interesting. Ready? Let's go. Let's rock. Okay, so guys, as you know, I love this blender, and it kind of goes with everything that I do. I squeeze it, it kind of, uh, it's also a little bit, um, uh, it brings tranquility. It's sort of like one of those stress balls. And there's something just so fun about, satisfying about squishing this. Then I grab my foundation. I put the foundation um, right there on the <laughs> <laughs> on the blender. And um, then what I do is uh, just start applying it, guys. You've seen me do this a million times. And I just put it on my um, very, very full cheeks that I've had since the day I was born and on my forehead. And um, I'm just gonna go in, I'm going for a very dewy, peachy, golden uh, vibe on my neck. And I, you know, you wanna involve everybody here, like all the cheeks. <laughs> You might not want to get it on your teeth, but like everything else, wherever there is skin, let's avoid the eyes, balls necessarily, like the eyeballs. Let's, let's, but let's get just about everything else. I'm even doing my beauty blender down to my ample cleavage. Um, I really like this thing. <laughs> I, put it, I put it on my brush and it's just, you know, I'm, it's just, it's for my neck mainly. And, and for, <laughs> for just, you know, oh, it creates this, this thing that my husband clearly enjoys. Then guys, as you know, you cannot live your life without this lip thing that you put on your forehead. <laughs> um, this is what I like to call uh, prepare for war. This is tribal war paint, guys. And what I do is, yeah, see? Like, I wish somebody would come and bother me right now. I am ready to, well, to cut somebody if I need to. Doesn't this intimidate you already, guys? Warrior princess vibes. So what I do is just, I like to blend all this in because this is what I like to call Contouring. It's called contouring. I have no idea why I contour. I just feel like it's the thing to do. You know what it does? I feel like sometimes it creates dimension and depth. Ooh, that was really good. It really creates dimension and depth on my cheeks and my forehead. It sort of looks like I have a sunburn right now, but I really don't. I'm gonna blend this in a little bit better. I'm gonna keep these lines on my nose though because they just really feel good. I just feel like it's given me, I don't know, Bambi vibes maybe? Or like, yeah, a bug's life? I'm not sure. It, it's, I'm going for something. Just stick with me, guys. We're on a journey here. Uh, I take my brush once again, and, and I was just kidding. I'm actually gonna blend all this in for a contour on my nose. It's gonna make my nose look thinner than it really is. This concealer that I put under my eyes, uh, it just helps me, um, again, make some more threats tribally um, toward any haters out there. Come at me, come at me, come at me, bro. What this concealer tends to do is cover dark circles underneath my eyes, although I don't really think I had a whole lot of dark circles going on this morning. See, I have a little praise dancer on my forehead there. Just. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Hello, Jesus. Right? That's my, I'm gonna leave that there for the day, I think. I'm gonna blend everything else in on concealer, but I'm leaving that, because I feel like this could be a logo for my life. 
Then I take my brush and I just blend in now what I've done with the concealer and what I've done with the contour and what I've done with the foundation and what I've done with the war paint and what I've done with the tribal symbols. Now, I use what I like to call baking soda. I mean, baking powder. I mean, finishing translucent baking soda powder stuff. And this, I'm going to, um, this is the thing that I normally freak my husband out with because like we'll literally get in the car and be heading somewhere and I will look like this. Just like I fell asleep um, while making cookies. And I was like, okay babe, ready to go. And he's like, wait a minute, uh, don't you want to maybe bring the beauty blender along and just you know, blend that in maybe? And I let him know, sir, I am baking. So guys, um, if you've been paying attention, textured eyebrows are totally a thing right now. So you kind of want to create an eyebrow thing that at the front of it kind of sticks up. It's kind of spiky. And then everything else kind of lays lays nicely. But textured eyebrows is a thing. So I use this, pen, this, this instrument here to texture my eyebrows. And then what I'm going to do is... Uh, I've got a, even though I have this gigantic mirror in front of me, I've got this little mirror right here in my hand. And it just helps me hone in a little bit. So when you are doing your eyebrows, you should go like super, super dark, like Sharpie dark. Like just, matter of fact, magic marker, permit. Okay, no, sorry. You should go very natural according to your skin tone. Um, and so you don't want anything that's too harsh uh, and you don't want anything that's too light. And you're just gonna keep doing this for an hour or two until such time as what once looked natural now does not. Uh, you know what? I take that back. This looks really, really natural. People are gonna be completely fooled. I'm amazing. Man, you look good, baby. I like to tell myself that sometimes. You look good, baby. Keep on trucking, baby. You got this, girl. This is what I like to call um, mascara. No, um, uh, brow gel. To really, really dramaticize these textured brows. It's lifting them up in the front. It's uh, lifting them up in the front. It's spiking them up in the front. Totally natural though, guys. This is, I woke up like this. I like to take a mirror that has cracks in it and something about the cracks just, you know, keeps me grounded, I, I feel. And then I use um, the lightest palette I can find in this particular thing. And I put it on my, um, what is that called? Eyelid, a dab, 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 because I love, love, love this. And I just put it, um, yeah. I'll even go even a little bit almost under the eye. Not, Quite, but oh, I guess I do a little bit. I'm gonna take this other brush, right? Um, and I'm gonna use a darker color and I'm going to highlight the outer uh, corner, the opposite corner, if you will. And then I'm gonna go to this other color, darker color. And this darker color is going to get along and play with others as well. And I'm basically gonna touch up the same stuff that I've been touching up with two other colors. Um, because really, instead of just getting a palette that has all four of them, uh, uh, in one color, I'm going to do uh, three, out of, three out of the four. Uh, oh, I'm going to use this highlighter now to uh, highlight the tip of my nose. Um, look at that. Wow. Wow. I feel like Tinkerbell all of a sudden. My nose looks even slimmer. This is amazing. Not to take away from the fact that it, we're still baking and the mirror is still cracked. Okay, we're going for uh, some sort of Mojave brown clay vibes, and these Mojave <laughs> brown desert clay vibes are now gonna go in the other corner. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but it's just... I'm going for a smudgy, smoky under eye. Remember I had to cover up those dark circles, I'm now recreating those dark circles under my <laughs> I'm gonna go for the really dark uh, color here now to uh, just keep this whole look uh, going. But I'm actually gonna do it above now. This look is creating 
um, dramatic angel vibes. I'm gonna need YPs, please, um, to create this next look. Um, YPs. Now I've got my YPs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to essentially undo everything I just did. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to wipe any eyeshadow that came down like that to create this um, elongated, sharp line. Ma'am, you cannot help me. This is my job. Okay, and then I'm done with that. I'm gonna put that away. And uh, now I'm bringing back that thing that I had originally, which was concealer. I'm basically going to do this to put back on what I wiped off. Uh, if you're confused, so am I. But here we go. I'm bringing the Beauty Blender back. I feel like we're starting all over, kinda. Um, and that's all a part of this whole thing. Like, you're gonna start, you're going to wipe off what you did, and you're going to restart again. This is why my husband is waiting for hours downstairs when I say, I'll be right there. Um, I'm, I get it now. We have not finished baking. Um, matter of fact, apparently we haven't even begun to bake. So we're bringing that back um, and we're gonna bake some more. We baked that originally, but this is like twice baked. Well, this is thrice baked. I have no freaking idea. <laughs> Uh, the reason we bake and we twice bake and even double, triple bake and even broil sometimes, sometimes you can broil, is it's going to lock in the concealer that we put on four to 12 times. There we go. Guys, I'm starting to think about a lash. I'm trying to think, okay, how am I gonna do this? Am I going wispy? Am I going dramatic? I think today I'm gonna go wispy. And what I'm gonna do is just gently uh, just let them look at each other for a while. And make sure they know each other. Hi. And then I'm gonna blow on them. And, uh, and I match up the look to, oh, I match up what side this is gonna go on because I just wanna make sure that I'm not putting a right um, uh, uh, lash on, on the left side because that would just, that would be trash. That would be trash, guys. And Makeup 101, don't be trash. Come on, even you know this looks amazing. Do you love, love, love it? Look at the difference between the left eye and the right eye. If you love, love, love it, comment below. If you love, love, love it, take another drink. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We're still baking, guys. We are still baking. What you want to do is just gently push those into place. Make sure everybody's cohesive and make sure we have liftoff. Uh, I'm not going to toot my own horn necessarily, but toot toot, I'm looking pretty good. I wonder what this is gonna be once we have fully, fully baked. Now I'm going to use this incredible blush, right? And we're gonna add some blush to the thing that we accentuated earlier, which was our con con contour. Now we're gonna blush the contour to give us nice rosy red cheeks. It give us a healthy, um, happy in life look. And this is yet even more war paint. What I'm gonna do is take my beauty blender, trampoline this thing down, jump around a little bit more, we do not have enough concealer. You can never have too much concealer, guys. That's why we're on go around number six on these lines here. Ha. And then I take this uh, lip liner and we're just gonna start the process here. We're getting ready, getting ourselves prepared for the red lip. So um, what I like to do is even though I have uh, thank God because of my mom, really good plump lips already. Um, as has been demonstrated throughout this entire process, I'm never really quite satisfied with the, the, the stuff I'm working with. So I wanna make things that are big, smaller, and things that are small, bigger. Anything you got small, let's make it bigger. Anything you got big, you know what? Let's make it smaller. In this case, the lips are already big, we're gonna make those bigger though, because, well, they're lips. 
And so instead of just lining my lips, I'm just filling them all in. And so now I'm going to take on top of this red lip liner lip, lip that I did, I'm gonna add this other far more glossy and dramatic red lip. I feel like Selena right now. All right, then I'm going to take this amazing uh, mascara and um, I'm gonna simply yet dramatically dial in uh, some color on these lashes because they clearly didn't come out of the package black enough. So guys, what I do is on my waterline here, I just add a little bit of white. I know some ladies put black in there. Please don't do that. It's a terrible look and it makes your eyes look beady and small and it's just, it's just not it. Okay, now I feel like I wanna do some bottom lashes. Ha! So bottom lashes, we're just gonna, yeah, and bring those into play. Guys, I really feel good about this thing whole coming together here. Um, we only have about two more hours. Guys, now, uh, I am now, ho, 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 I'm now going to blend in the baking situation. Now, if you notice, it was way more dramatic earlier, so the baking process has already been happening. It's been happening naturally. Now I'm just gonna blend in the last little bit of it with this double-sided brush. Now, I feel like I'm only going to need to do the concealer three, maybe four more times. Four stripes on each side and no. You know what? I take that back. There's another brush we need to bring into the situation. I told you we weren't done. Cracked mirror, the light color, boom. Yes! Oh my gosh! That changed everything. Look! Now look! Oh, ho, ho. you guys thought I was done. I thought I was done. My husband definitely thought we were done about an hour ago. How's my hair responding to my eyebrows and my lashes and my red lip and this look in my eyes that sort of looks beyond the mirror into the great unknown? Is the red lip perfect? Do the eyebrows, are the eyebrows textured enough? Are they who? No, we don't say that. <laughs> we don't say on fleek anymore. Didn't that go out in like 2015? What else should we add though? We should add my voice and that's what I'm gonna do. Welcome Hi back. guys, I'm back. My voice is back. I have three questions for my husband. Numero uno, did you know that it consisted of all this stuff? And what were you most surprised of? I think the thing that surprised me the most is um, how many freaking times we had to do the stripes and then blend them in, then wipe them away and cover something dark with something light, but then add mm -hmm. something dark. It's a process, baby. Yeah, it's quite a process. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you respect my art skill not more now? My artistic abilities? I think, I, 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 I think you're amazing. I think you're amazing with what you do. Do you think if I tried to get you to do it after watching me and going through all the steps, could you do it? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was hilarious to me. I hope you thought it was just as funny. Let me know if you would ever in your life allow your husband to do this with you. Comment. Below. That's subscribe. Right. That's right. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Until next time. What, what? Get it, get it. Poo -poo. I love, love, love you.